Hello there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mosley and today I have a new review video for you all. So I'm gonna just jump right in and today we are reviewing for the brand called Lala Fox. I hope this is how you pronounce it. Um, these products I have been using, some of them I have been using for only a couple of days, some I have been using for about half month and all of them I got them from Walmart. Uh, in Walmart, they are retailing them, I believe, from $6 to $12. And I actually used up their facial mask, and that's something I'm gonna talk in. So, I'm gonna talk about how I get them. Um, I actually got them on during clearance. So, my local Walmart have them um, labeled in clearance type about two weeks after they launched which was super surprising for me because I didn't expect any kind of such a new brand would be labeled as clearance that fast but they're all well packaging um, all of them are like perfectly packaged none of them were opened and they were only retailing for one dollar I was like oh my god oh hell yeah I'm gonna get a lot so before they get into clearance I bought their 10 pack mask um, I have used all of them and I think I have two left, but I can't find them right now, so I'm just going to talk you through it. Um, the First of all, I'm talking about the cleansing one. The cleansing one is actually very wet, uh, in my opinion. I don't notice a very big difference for the charcoal. Um, I don't notice any kind of like black has disappear from my face, so I don't think it's necessarily working. But um, the pearl one, I think it's actually working a little bit for me. Most of them are actually very moisturizing. Um, the paper or the mask itself is kind of actually one of those kind of thick kind of material um, compared to the Papa Recipe review that I had. It was about like twice thick as the mask. But for me personally, I don't mind it. I don't hate it. And they have quite a lot of serum in it. Um, after t after I pull out the mask, I put it in my face, I still have about 3 milliliter that much of serum in it. And I can squeeze them out and just like evenly put them on my face. So I like that part. Um, for the moisturizing part, I don't think it's super, super majorly moisturizing. However, it does do kind some kind of job and it is very cheap in a drugstore kind of range. I think if you even it up, it's like $1 per piece or something like that. So yeah, it is a good deal. Personally, I don't think that's my favorite, but it's something that if you just want to try some kind of face mask but you don't want to spend a lot of money or um, you just um, I don't know like if you just want what extra steps every day that one dollar mask is actually worth the money um, if you're thinking that way so personally I think it's three out of five it's more of the average it's not super super amazing but other but on the other hand it does some kind of job so um, since I'm talking about mask, I'm gonna start with facial care. And the first one I'm talking about the Intense Pro Cleansing Water Face Cleansing Water. And this is, and this is the packaging. So this is the part that I like about the, about this brand is all of their packaging are actually super beautiful. I like how clean and easy these are. They're like super easy to store, and their makeup are also very easy to spot. They're black this classic kind of glossy black and these are just clear I, I like I like their packaging and even their logo this is their logo I really like it I just I just feel like this is something it sort of looks like high-end but it's not itself but the price is not very high-end um, for all of these I get them all in one dollar so I don't remember what specifically how much they were um, but I believe each one of them is like ten dollar or something like that um, you can check on the Walmart website or their own website to see the price of it. I'm gonna put the links down below of what I'm talking about in this video. Um, you can check it out later. Um, so first of all, I'm talking about a cleansing water. Um, the cleansing water, as you can see, I have only these much left. It's a very small bottle. Um, it has, I don't, I don't believe it has, um, yeah, it has only 120 millimeter. I feel like this is something you can bring during your travel. I actually stayed over at my friend's house for a couple nights, so this is what I've been using for the past 
a week or so but I didn't do much makeup so personally I do very thick makeup as you can tell um, I too I put very thick layers I put on a lot of powders and these I think um, if you are taking off the, the usually like everyday kind of makeup um, I feel like this is the best to do just to like take it off you got cotton rounds and soak it up and then you put it on your face for a couple of minutes you wipe it off but for me this is not strong enough just because my makeup are usually very thick um, and also it tastes very bitter I tried to use it to take off my uh, lip makeup and then um, it was very bitter it does leave my skin uh, clean but I wouldn't say a hundred percent clean so th since this is not working the best for me usually I work it up with the cleansing oil uh, which is also the intensive pro uh, intensive pro series so this is what it says um, this one as a facial oil it's not super super thick it actually works very well um, in my opinion it's I think this is one of the fish oil that it doesn't give me pimples or acne after applying for them but it is not one of those oils that you put on your face and then you smells everything you do need to work a little bit and each time the pump I have to talk about a pump every time you pump it up it has a big squirt out of it um, but that big squirt uh, personally I feel like it's a good amount instead of small squirts because um, this oil is not super super thick kind of oil it is a little bit saluted in my opinion but I do like it I feel like it works I really like this and it hasn't given me any acne or pimple so far so I really like this one I'll keep using it and next I'm gonna talk about um, their eyebrow pencils so why I'm talking this quick is because my battery is running out so I'm talking really quick right now um, the eyebrow pencil, I'm getting the Drawing Brow Pencil in color Black Brown. Um, and I'm actually very surprised this is manufactured in the United States. Because I feel like there are not much of things manufactured in the United States. Okay, and this is the one of those like uh, classic two, two end of uh, stuff. So one end you get a spoolie and the other end you get a... You get a closet kind of um, eyebrow pencil usually if I'm not wearing these kind of thick makeup I don't use this kind of eyebrow I just go with daily brow I use this one um, personally I really like the texture of it it's not super waxy it's not super dry uh, the color it looks good so here's a swatch I don't know if you can tell like this it's it's um it's more it's a little bit dark um, of the brown but I like the color I feel like it's perfect for the daily look and it actually looks super natural on the face it looks super natural on the brow and it's super easy usually I need two minutes and then I'm done and on this side I'll just be like and then we're good um, so this pencil personally in my opinion I feel like it works really well I do recommend it I use it alternatively with my uh, NYX Precision or something like that that very very thin um, type of um, eyebrow pencil and as I'm talking there are more and more ladybugs getting on my light I don't <sighs> it's a long story and the second uh, the last one I'm talking about is this Lala Fox color fix lipstick and it's in the color uh, glossy John glossy hashtag John okay I'm gonna look at like to look this uh, has two side of it so you can see the color from the both side this is the top and this is the bottom so it's the same thing um, I like it's a square one it's very easy and simple I like the black color and inside it looks like this it actually like if you put it up it really like the look like my Laura Mercier um, lipstick and pulling it up you can tell I have used it it's a very very beautiful and natural coral color um, it's, it is not super moisturizing but it's on more of the moisturizing side instead of the dry side um, I feel like this is more of a very natural daily kind of lipstick um, just go for daily makeup this put it on it makes your lips looks really young and I don't know like it just it doesn't it's not one of those lipsticks that have a big chain to your face but you put it on you look like you're you're awake you're energized I don't know if that makes sense 
it's a very beautiful coral and now I'm gonna swatch it this is the color of it I really like this color um, so personally so far since I've got five things out of this brand um, I feel like it's a little bit hit and miss for me uh, for me this two well this one is a little bit average this piece is slightly over average and these two are very very good and I do use them very often. I know this is a small review compared to the big brand they have. They have everything in their line, but unfortunately, I didn't get all of them. But if you want to do, uh, get anything out of this um, this stuff, um, now you know my opinion, and I do recommend you to get it. So this is end of this video. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up or leave a comment below, and don't forget don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Bye.